hey everyone so in this video we are going to learn about an advanced technique that is uh, most commonly used by bug bounty hunters to find subdomains or internal domains right before going to this video if you haven't checked out my previous video in which i have shown you that how we can use pure dns to brute force subdomains then go ahead and check it out the link will be given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen also for those who are new to our channel and haven't checked out our website which is bepractical.tech then let me tell you guys that you are missing a lot of things just go and visit bepractical.tech in your browser as you can see we have this awesome website wherein you can learn everything related to cyber security and web development as you can see we have some articles like art of brute forcing subdomains exploring the dangers of uh, no sql injections and the interesting thing is the labs that we are offering right so all of these labs are based on real world scenarios and are absolutely free right so currently we have account takeover labs and you will learn actually in these labs that how you can hack into someone's account because of the web applications misconfiguration whether it there's a misconfiguration in the uh, sign up field whether it is in the login field etc right so you learn all of these things by solving these labs and all of these things are again based on real scenarios so yeah definitely go ahead and check out these labs and improve your cyber security skills now with that being said let's get started so the first thing is Let's suppose that we have this target in our mind, right? So we want to uh, hack this target, right? So normally whenever you are doing some reconnaissance on let's say Shodan uh, to find some uh, hidden assets, right? We'll get this kind of IP address, right? So if you directly try to access this IP address, let me show you. Like if I try to access this IP address directly, then we'll see that it is showing us 400 bad requests, right? And there is a secret over here that internal subdomain is secret.com. Now this uh, normally this uh, won't be happening in your case. So I've created this all lab, right? In your case, you you are aware of what target you are hacking, right? So that domain of the target is will be your, uh, let's say subdomain, right? Or the main root domain, right? So let's say that we have identified this IP address, right? So this IP address have this internal subdomain secret.com. So if I try to open secret.com, let me show you. Right, as you can see, it has opened nothing suspicious at all. But there's a small catch over here that this secret.com is from the public DNS. Right, we have uh, and this secret key over here, the secret.com, is not pointing to the actual secret.com. So this uh, secret.com over here, it should point to this IP address. Right, so let's see whether it is pointing to that IP address or not. So if I ping secret.com. You'll see that the IP address is starting from 152.199, something like this, right? In our case, you can see the actual IP address is 65.2.37.134. Why this is happening? Because in web applications and, or in web servers, we can have our own uh, private DNS, right? So we can configure that in Linux, in Nano, etc host, something like that, right? So most companies will have their own private domains where they will be internally testing some new applications or maybe uh, doing a lot of things going under the uh, internal domains, right? So this is the internal do domain over here. How we can access this internal domain is quite simple. So you just need to have your birth suit on and to verify that whether it is the internal domain or not, you can simply open the birth suit and you can just put this secret.txt in the in the host header right let me show you how it's done as you can see here we are and let me just refresh it as you can see let me just send it to repeater so that we can analyze this right it is showing that internal subdomain is secret.com right if i just get rid of this host secret.com right and as you can see we got a different response this time. Why we are getting this response? Try to understand this very carefully, right? So when, when I was trying to uh, access secret.com uh, uh, from my browser, then what is happening that the secret.com is resolving the IP address from the public DNS, right? So there's a public DNS server, right? That is resolving this to the IP address, 152 point something like that, right? But here, since we have this IP address and we are trying to access secret.com, we are we are checking basically, we are checking that whether this IP address have a domain secret.com present in the in in its DNS server or not. Right? So this time 
we are forcing the uh, using verb suit secret.com that you need to resolve secret.com not from the public dns server but from this ip address right if there is any uh, uh, web application which is internally running on this server then let me know right therefore we got this new response that is welcome to this website right so i hope this is clear so this is the reason why you should often look into this host right this is an interesting uh, header to play with right now once we have identified this uh, host right we have okay we have identified that this is the internal uh, private dns going on over here with the host name uh, secret.com right now let us try to find the subdomains or you can say the virtual host of this secret.com right so if i just go and uh, you know uh just put this in my kali linux something like this Let me just show you like if i just try to find the subdomain of it using let's say one of the tools sub finder minus t secret.com again it is it is going to resolve secret.com from the public dns server right so app gw secret.com there's so many subdomains right but none of them are related to our target why because again these are from the public dns server we want the internal domains of this particular application, right? How we can do that? Simply, we can use a tool known as FF, right? So first of all, let us try to install FF in our machine. Just go to your uh, Kali Linux and type sudo apt install ff minus y, and this will install ff in your machine. Right now, as you can see, it's getting installed. So it will again depend on your internet connection, the amount of time that is that it, that it is going to take, right? Once we have this installed, now we are good to go. Now what we can do over here is we can use this tool to brute force the uh, virtual host, right? The subdomains of this particular internal domain, right? We have identified the internal domain. We have identified the resolver. The resolver is nothing but this IP address, right? This is resolving to the uh, internal secret.com, right? So we're going to use this to resolve other subdomains if there is present uh, there is a, there are subdomain present on this target or not so let's see how we can use ff for that so we can type ff right minus u over here we need to provide the url or the server's ip address which is nothing which is this copy it and paste it out over here right now we are going to inject the subdomains in the host header right we can just do something like this minus h host first dot secret dot com right and then we are going to specify a word list now you can use a lot of uh, interesting word list over here the most common the, my most favorite one is the best dns word list you can use that so just go to asset note let me just show you where this word list is just go to asset note word list all right, just click on this very first link and don't worry this link will be also given in the description so just go and check it over here let me just open it real quick here it is just go and download this word list right this is a very uh, interesting word list so it will uh, you'll pretty sure uh, found some uh, uh, interesting things over here if you use this particular word list right so once you have this word list what you need, what we need to do is we need to specify the word list direct uh, directory right so my word list i have created a demo word list over here let's share it again over here and now we are good to go right now if i run this as you can see for every word list it is showing with this that okay we got 200 200 200 why it is showing this let us try to analyze it so this is the important part that you need to follow see First of all, the first thing that you should do is try to use a random host over here, random uh, subdomain, let's say something like this, right? And see how the application is behaving to it, right? Notice the response code, notice the status code, notice the content length, right? So as you can see, it is showing for this random subdomain, it's showing 200, okay? Content length is 62, right? So this is something interesting. We have content length 62, right? So we can add a filter over here in ff uh, over here that we need to exclude all those subdomains for which the content length is equals to 62 
right in your case it may be that on uh, invalid subdomains it is sponsoring as 307 not found 404 307 temporary redirect something like that right so it totally depends on your target in our target in our case as you can see there is this differentiator over here that the content length is 62 for the wrong uh, subdomain now we can do something like this minus f c right and then we can simply type 62 right because we know that 62 is the content length right so if i hit enter now again you can see we got this why we got this it's simply because we are going to get rid of this fc instead and we have to specify fs for the content length right so it was my mistake sorry and now if i hit enter as you can see we got only one response over here that okay and this the size of this is quite different right so it is 31 instead of 62 and if i just go and copy and paste it over here api.secret.com resolving to this ip address you will see that we got some admin credential we were successfully able to go into the uh, internal domain right through this uh, private server right so this is how you can increase your reconnaissance skill you can this is how you can find the virtual host you can find subdomains on uh, internally hosted uh, servers right so if you have any doubts let me know and again if i copy this url let's say that i'm going to look for api.secret.com directly from my browser you'll see that we are getting unknown host right so this is the reason why this difference between this uh, uh, domain names resolving from the public uh, DNS server and domain name resolving from the private DNS server, right? So this is how you can increase your uh, reconnaissance skills. If you have any doubts, if you have any issues at any point, feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section. Also, do join our Telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going into cybersecurity and web development, right? And if you like the way I teach, then I am currently running two courses on Udemy. The first one is Bug Bounty, the ultimate guide to hunt account takeovers, wherein you will learn that how hackers dive deep into the web application to find those vulnerabilities that will result in uh, taking over anyone's account, right? And the second course which I am running is Hacking Windows with Python from scratch, wherein you will learn that how hackers create their own custom malwares that can be used by the uh, hackers to hack into anyone's uh, anyone's computer bypassing the antivirus executing system commands uh, accessing the webcams downloading and uploading files and so many things and both of these courses are based on the practical scenarios and are fully practically demonstrated so yeah definitely go ahead and check it out if you want to and now with that being said once again if you have any doubts at any point then feel free to let me know in the comment section and with that being said Thanks for watching and keep learning.